when I had this opportunity to go to Japan, I just said, um, let me grab it. Even though it's a lower level, but at least if you go there, it's going to be a stepping stone to move up. Yeah. Welcome to Play Your Own Star Network. This is the episode one of our podcast series, Football Beyond Victoria Hub. Today, we are happy to have Rangers player Ibrahim as our guest. We'll be talking about his football's journey from Ghana to Japan in today's episode. Hope you all will enjoy this amazing story. You were, okay. according to the stats and history, you were, were representing Ghana under 23 or and then you went to Japan. So why did you decide to go to Japan and it's not the first division in Japan? Why did you agree to go there in the first place? Well, um, I would say it's the dream of every player to play outside his country or especially in Europe, you know, or Asia, right? So I was playing in a lower league in Ghana. Then I had an opportunity to play um, <clears throat> in the national under 23. That's um, African Cup qualifications, qualifiers. Then through there, a Japanese coach that was coaching Ghana saw me and got interested. And he sent my profile to um, to um, Okushias, that's the uh, fifth year in Japan. Because during then he was working with the club. So they saw my video and they were interested in me. Then they brought me in. You know. Yeah. So that's how I went. I, I went to Japan. Okay. So I imagine. And actually, okay. you know, I didn't have any opportunity to the top level clubs. Okay. This was the, the, yeah, that was where I had the opportunity. So I, I had to grab it. Okay, so this was the only opportunity you have to go to play in another country, right? Yeah, actually, um, other opportunities came before that, but you know, sometimes some opportunities don't work out. You know, some are due to uh, agents miscommunication or agents problem or like something like visa problem and that is something things like that. Okay. Actually, I had an opportunity to go to um. US, that's Chicago Fire. They 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 had partnership with uh, PSG. I had an opportunity to go there, but uh, at at the embassy things didn't go on well, and we couldn't get visa to go. So, so yeah. these are all parts. Yeah, it's it's all part of. Yeah, you imagine so the visa process to United States is a bit difficult than yeah, other a bit countries. Difficult. Yeah. yeah. So when I had this opportunity to go to Japan, I just said, um, let me grab it. Even though it's a lower level, but at least if you go there, it's going to be a stepping stone to move up. Yeah. Okay. So I imagine the life in Japan is a bit different than Africa in Ghana. Yeah, so different. Actually, when I first got to Japan, I think few months i was struggling because there was the weather different food difference communication like language lifestyle everything was so different totally different but you know so if you are determined to you know that's the lifestyle of footballers you are you are supposed to psych your mind and fit into whatever situation you find yourself so this actually got me fitting into every situation every lifestyle and of Japan yeah it was difficult but uh, you know with determination I was able to pick up things yeah okay so what do you think about the Japanese lifestyle the culture there well um, the culture is so simple you know everybody lives a simple life like everybody is focused on their work after work family like that so I think I like it. I like it, and it's it's kind of, it's kind of compared. It's kind of same here in Hong Kong. Yeah. Do you feel shock after you went to Japan? How they live their lifestyle at first? Well, yeah, because even I I didn't know much about Japan when I was in Ghana, so I was kind of shocked, surprised, and happy all together. You know, it was yeah. 
Okay, so according to the report, you speak Japanese, right? Yeah, I bit I studied Japanese for one year in Japan. Yeah. How did you learn Japanese? Was it difficult to learn? It? Well, um, the writing was difficult, but speaking was bit easy to get because uh, we could understand a bit through teammates and stuff. So when I went to school, speaking was bit easy, but writing was bit difficult. You know, Japanese had uh, has um. Three types of writing. They have the hiragana, katagana, the kanji. But I can write hiragana, but katagana and kanji is be difficult for me. Yeah. yeah. Because for foreigners, I think the most difficult thing to learn Japanese or our language in Chinese yeah. is so yeah. difficult to learn the characters. Well, especially the katagana and kanji is so difficult. I I got so smooth with hiragana writing and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so was you were you forced to learn Japanese because of the communication with the teammates there in Japan? No, no, I wasn't forced. I just willingly did it because it's important. Okay. Even though I I studied Japanese in my last year, I stayed in four years. I stayed four years. I studied Japan in my last Japanese in my last year, but I think. It's good to learn the language where you go because it's gonna make easy communication in the future. You might not know where you 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 play again or where you stay. You know, so uh, I think I wasn't forced to learn. Okay. Yeah. Did that help you to have a better communication with the Japanese teammates in your team right now? Yeah. Here in Hong Kong. Yeah. Yeah, it makes a bit better communication between. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I understand you started a family back in Japan, right? Yeah, sure. So was it challenging to communicate with Japanese people, or you think ah, it's actually not that complicated? Well, um, it's in the beginning it was become.、Uh, Difficult, but as I, as time went by and I got to understand some language,、um, some words, I was able to communicate a bit. Yeah. Okay. So, how was your life besides football in Japan? Um, it was just family time, you know. Okay. Yeah, family time because football takes us away from the family. So if you have the opportunity, you have to spend more time with your family. Okay, so now let's talk about the league style in Japan. So you are playing in the lower league in Japan. What do you think about the league level and the rhythm of the game there? Well,、um, the Kansai League level is not that good. It's the fifth division, but the intensity there was so high because you know it's it's kind of、uh, young, more younger players playing there, so. So it's so the intensiveness was so 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 high there, yeah. Compared to even the the the、um, upper leagues. Okay, so comparing to Ghana, where you were playing in the second division, how was、yeah. the level of Japan compared to the second division in Ghana? Um, in my first year, I was. I found it a bit difficult because you know, I saw Japanese players so fast. They were so fast, so quick. But you know, as determined, I was able to pick up things and go go myself on. Yeah. So you formed a family in Japan. Why did you like gave up in the life in Japan and decide to come to Hong Kong? Yeah.、Um, <clears throat> actually, my my contract expired with. Uh, my club in Japan, and I went back to Ghana because、um, I had other offers, but、uh, the requirements were not that good for me, you know,、okay. and the agent and my agent. So、um, I think he thought this place was the best part, since I I didn't want to move to other side.、Yeah. This was the place he thought.、Um, Will be good, kind of getting playing time, like getting good playing time and other stuffs. Yeah, so. Okay. 